Good evening, everybody. Good evening. So archaeologists have just unearthed a journal kept by Moses. Yes, the one from the Bible. Not Sam Moses who owns a deli down the street. <laughs> Apparently, he started keeping it the day that God first spoke with him. According to the journal, he was herding sheep near Mount Sinai when he noticed on a mountain a burning bush that was not being consumed by the fire. I figured that was odd, so he went up to check it out. Here we find out that Moses is actually hard of hearing. Never knew that. He gets up to the burning bush, and a booming voice says, Moses, go forth unto Egypt and tell the Pharaoh to let my people go. And Moses says, what? <laughs> Moses, tell the Pharaoh, let my people go. Oh, come on, who's doing this? Am I being punked? What's going on around here? <laughs> no one's talking? All right, I'll go along with it. All right, if I do go, what kind of army are you going to give me? How big an army? What size? What kind of weapons? Moses, I'm over budget for this fiscal millennium. <laughs> so that stick you have, you call it a staff. That's it. Oh, yeah, but that's really funny, really. Okay, I'll keep playing. When they ask, who sent me, what should I say? I am that I am. What does that mean? <laughs> Moses, enough with the questions and go. So Moses did go to Egypt and did get an audience with the Pharaoh, who we find out is also hard of hearing. <laughs> Never knew that. So the Pharaoh says to Moses, what do you want? Now here we find out that the Pharaoh is not only hard of hearing, He's not very personable, and he has a high-pitched voice that sounds a little bit like Curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> and Moses says, let my people go. And the Pharaoh says, what? <laughs> let my people go. Now, Moses, I knew you when you were the prince of Egypt, and you couldn't have thought of this on your own. Who sent you? He is that he is. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I was hoping you would know. Oh, Moses, think about this. If I let all your people go, who's going to do all the work that Egyptians won't do? So tell he is and he is, no deal. <laughs> so as you can imagine, God was not very happy. So he wrought plagues upon Egypt. Water to blood, locusts, frogs, the usual uh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> But to no avail, the Pharaoh wouldn't change his mind. So God had to play his trump card, so to speak, <laughs> and let loose the angel of death, who would pass over Hebrew homes without harming anybody, but would kill every firstborn Egyptian boy, including the Pharaoh's own son. Now you think the Pharaoh, Pharaoh would be pissed about this, and he was, but he had, he had an odd, Reaction. He called Moses back to the palace and said, I've had it. You and your people get out of here. Move out, let, leave the country. Well, that was okay with Moses. So he gathered his flock and started walking out of Egypt toward the promised land when he came upon the Red Sea. There was no way to cross it. So Moses looked up at the heavens and said, What gives? I followed your directions. Now what do we do? And from on high, voice says, Moses, back at the past, he was supposed to make a left instead of a right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, when are you going to invent GPS? Who's Jesus Christ and what GPS? Never mind. So God, God then took a deep breath and pulled out over the waters of the Red Sea. They parted. Moses and everybody went right through to the other side and wound up eventually by Mount Sinai where it all started. Moses went up to the mountain to give God an update. <laughs> when a booming voice says, Moses, you've done well. I am now going to give you and your people the Ten Commandments to live by. Wait a minute, that wasn't part of the original deal. <laughs> well, it is now. Unless you and your people want to go back to Egypt. I can arrange that very easily. Oh, hold on, hold on, don't do that yet. Well, before you start uh, putting those Ten Commandments on a tablet, why don't you, tell me a couple of them. Thou shalt not kill. Well, we can live with that one. Okay. <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. 
that would be a little tougher, but we'll manage. <laughs> Tell me one more. Thou shalt not lie down with animals. Wait a minute, don't put that down. Don't do that. <laughs> You remember before I took this gig, I was a sheep herder, remember? <laughs> Don't do that. How about this? Put in, instead of that, uh, thou shalt not, let's see, commit adultery. That's going to be really tough, but I'll make it work. So Moses came down from the mountain, looked down upon his people, and said, I bring you the Ten Commandments for us to live by. And all 400,000 former Hebrew slaves all looked up to what Moses and said, What? <laughs> and I say, Good night. <laughs>